How's it going, guys? This is Shake Your Week Up. I'm Sophia. Today is going to be a different video. As you may notice, I curse a lot on my videos. For example, I'm always saying, Fuck! Motherfucker! Bitch! What the fuck? Shit among those lines. So, I got a brilliant idea since I curse a lot and a lot of people may say That's not very ladylike I'm just here saying I don't give a fuck So, <laughs> this video is going to be about learning how to curse the Puerto Rican way Well, maybe not cursing the Puerto Rican way But, you know, just teaching words that us Puerto Ricans use a lot disclaimer um if you come to puerto rico or any other place that speak lang spanish or that they understand these bad words if you use them and if you get in trouble it's not my fault okay thank you so the first word i think it has to be the word that has more power here in puerto rico and the word is puñeta <laughs> okay so puñeta it's it can be used if you're angry or if you success in something for example you hit your toe and you say Puñeta. the other example is let's say you were studying for this final test you took it and you passed and you said Eso es puñeta! you know it can be used in both you know positive and negative but you know always be careful when you use them because a lot of people say oh yeah that's not that, that's not cute don't say those words and you know how people are you know girls shouldn't be cursing yeah i'm just here saying bitch i don't give a fuck if i want to curse i'll curse Puñeta. the other word is carajo basically it's go to hell here we say vete pal carajo again you can use this word in the positive and the negative the negative is Again, the example that you hit your toe, or you got into a car accident, and you say, carajo. Or someone tells you, this is going to be a hundred dollars. Carajo. That's a little bit expensive. <laughs> Stuff among those lines. And in the positive, I guess it would be the same as puñeta. You pass the test. Eso es carajo. But I think most of the people will say, eso es puñeta. So, the next word. Next word is cabrón. That's uh an insult to say to uh the males if you want to say it to a female is cabrona and cabron is also a word that a lot of guys use in the daily basics why because it's a way uh to greet for example Te like it, girls i don't think we use those words a lot i can use that word or maybe girls can use those words with their really, 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 really close friends. For example, if you're fooling around and your friend did something stupid, it's just a girl. Oh my god, esta cabrona. I guess a lot of people see it in a bad way. To be honest, I don't give a fuck. The other word is pendejo for males and pendeja for females. So that is basically stupid moron. Let's say your best friend broke out with his boyfriend and they got back together again and you say this fool, this moron, this stupid bitch. We say here, esta pendeja. I guess it will be the same with guys, esta pendejo. The other one is puto for males and puta for females. That means whore, I guess, or slut. I think it is more whore. So you, you already know how to use the word whore. So I don't need to explain. Next. The other one is Hijo de puta for males or hija de puta for females. This means son of a bitch. That's it. Nothing else to look for. That. That's what it means. The other one is jodete. Jodete is screw you. Yeah, it's basically screw you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click that like button. Depends on how this video goes. I can make another one talking about the Puerto Rican slang because there's a lot. To cover. This is if you check your week K-pop. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, peace.